In this problem, we're told what angle and radians is subtended by an arc 1.5 meters long on the circumference of a circle of radius 2.5 meters. What is this angle in degrees? And then B is an arc 14 centimeters long on circumference of a circle subtends an angle of 128 degrees. What is the radius of the circle? C is the angle between two radii of a circle with radius 1.5 meters is 0.7 radians. What length of arc is intercepted on the circumference of the circle by the two radii? So in order to solve this problem, there's something you should know. So let's draw a circle here. So this is going to be a circle. Imagine this is the center, right? And so you need to know this formula. S equals R theta. And so what this formula does is tell us S, right? So if I draw this right here, right? Imagine this is just a chunk of it with angle theta, right? So this right here is theta. Uh, and then S, what it is, it's this distance right here. We call it the arc length. So it's this distance right here along this circle. And then r is just the radius so it can be th this length right here on both sides essentially because they're the same so those two lengths so what we want to do is go ahead and use this to solve so let's start with a so a we're trying to find what angle and radians is subtended by an arc 1.5 meters long on the circumference of a circle of radius uh, 2.5 meters so they tell us the radius which is 2.5 meters and they tell us uh, it's going to be subtended on an arc 1.5 meters long so they're telling us this length right here is 1.5 meters. So we can just call it S. So S equals 1.5 meters. And we're trying to find uh, the angle and radians. So we're trying to solve for theta. So we use this formula and just manipulate it, right? Theta is going to be equal to S over R, right? Which means S, 1.5 over 2.5, right? And so both of these are meters, right? And so when you get this, 1.5 over 2.5, if you do that, you're going to get 0.6. But keep in mind what this is in. Uh, it's assumed that it's in radians, right? So this is in radians because when you cancel this out, it becomes unitless essentially. And unitless in this case is just radians. So 0.6 radians, um, but they want us to find it in degrees. They say, what is this angle in degrees? So this would be in radians. But if we want to convert to degrees, uh, you need to know 0.6 radians, right? So if you want to convert to degrees, you need to know one radian is equal to 180 degrees. Or sorry, not one radian, pi radians. I'm sorry about that. So pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So essentially what you can do is just go ahead and do 0 0.6 times 180 divided by pi, right? Because we know 2 pi around the circle is equal to 360 degrees, right? And we're just dividing by 2 essentially, right? Pi equals 180, right? And so what this is going to do is just going to cancel. These cancel and it'll give it in this. So just do 0 0.6 times 180 divided by pi and that's going to give it to you in degrees. And so if you do this, you're going to get 34.4 degrees. So 34.4 degrees, that's going to be uh, the angle in A, right? So this is your answer to A. Now let's do B. So B is going to be uh, an arc 14 centimeters long. So they're telling us the arc length again. S equals uh, 14 centimeters. Uh, it's going to be subtending an angle of 128 degrees. So theta is 128 degrees. And we're trying to solve for, right, we're trying to solve for the radius. They want us to find the radius of the circle. So R equals question mark. So we already have it, or what we want to do is get it for R. So R equals S divided by theta. Yeah, so S divided by theta. So this is going to be 14 centimeters. But keep in mind what we want this to be in. We want it to be in radians, right? Because we assume this is in radians. So let's convert it from degrees to radians. So you're just going to inverse this, right? Because we want it in radians. So pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So that would cancel the degrees. So do 128 times uh, pi over 180. I'm just going to write it right here, but if you want to do the math, you can. So just do it like this, right? All I'm doing is just writing what this would be in degrees, because or in radians, right? This converts it to radians. I'm just putting it here. So 128 uh, degrees, and that's going to cancel and make it radians, right? So 14 centimeters divided by 128 times pi over 180. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 14 centimeters over 2.23 radians. So this is equal to 2.23 radians. And then when you do this, uh, it's just going to be the unit on top. So it's really just going to be 6 point, or about 6.28 centimeters. All right, so I'm just rounding these values. So 6.28 centimeters, that's going to be the arc length. Or sorry, this is the radius. I apologize. This is the radius. So the radius of our circle for part B with arc length 14 centimeters and 128 degrees, uh, it's going to be 6.28 centimeters. So that's B. Uh, let's do C now. C is going to be the angle between two radii of a circle with a radius. Here we go. Radius equals 1.5 meters. And it's going to be an angle of 0.7 radians. 
and we're trying to find the length of the arc, right? So we're trying to solve for s in this case, right? The arc length. And so we know s equals r theta, right? And so we don't have to convert the units because this is in radians, right? Not in degrees like the last few. So it's just going to be 1.5 meters times 0.7 radians. And this is going to give you in meters, right? Because radians is, you imagine it, unisless. Uh, so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get about 1.05. So 1.05 uh, meters. Yeah, so 1.05 meters. That's going to be uh, the arc length of this part. So this right here is your answer to C. So this is C. Uh, this is going to be B, right? And then this was A, but they want it in both, right? They want it in uh, just radians. So this is it in radians, and then this is it in degrees, right? So in degrees, it's 34.4, but yeah. So these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.